Hey everyone! So what you see here is my finished uh, look for this tutorial. It's a non-specific character cosplay makeup and it's the one I use when I'm really really lazy or I don't have a specific look for the character in mind if I haven't put much thought into it. It's something that goes well with basically uh, all characters. They can all wear a brown because it's so neutral. So if you don't want to go crazy or if you're just looking for an easy tutorial then this is it. And um, what I'm starting off with is my concealer. And I'm using my stippling brush to just pat it all over my face. Just spread it around. You don't ha it has doesn't have to look nice at the moment. You just spread it all over your face and then you're gonna even it out later. This brush is really, really used because I only use it for putting on my concealer and <laughs> I never wash it, so yeah, I hardly use it for anything else. And now I'm starting to use my fingers to even everything out. I love to use my fingers for the concealer because it turns out much nicer than a brush and I really, I can just spread it out the way I like it. And you just go all over your face. Okay, now I'm using my powder, powder from day, my powder, what's it called? My powder something something. <laughs> this is your just regular powder from MAC. And the funny thing about this powder is that it's white as you can see. And I was a bit confused about that when I purchased this, it as well, but the sales lady told me it would be see-through white powder. And it turns out really nice, it just, um, it just sets the makeup. So it won't when you, for example, if you're a bit sweaty, then this will will keep it in. Or if you you brush your forehead, then you won't really be be smearing out your concealer that you put on. And this is my light brown Mac foundation, my Mac eye eyeshadow. <laughs> and what I'm doing is that I'm just applying it all over my lid. And I'm gonna go all the way up to my eyebrows and I love this eyeshadow because it's such a wonderful color It has a little bit of shine and it's so neutral and it just adds that extra special something to my makeup Just go all around the eye and all the way up to the eye eyebrows Okay, now I'm using my hot makeup palette, and as you can see, this mirror, this video is mirrored because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see anything when putting on my makeup. So that's why you can't really see any of the brands except, well, they're mirrored. So <laughs> it's my hot makeup palette, and this is one I stole from my cosplay partner <laughs> a couple of years ago, and she has been asking for it, but I'm not giving it back. And it has a bunch of colors. I use it for pretty much everything. But what I took was uh, a brown brown color, a bit darker than the one I used for my entire uh, my entire eyelid. Um, and I'm just gonna, as you can see, I'm gonna create the illusion that my my eye is bigger and uh, that it casts more shadow. I think it's what it looks like to me, and it looks really really nice. So just darken it right there. If there's a lot of background noise, it's because my cats are going crazy chasing chasing each other. I feel really bad for the people living downstairs. So now I'm using my white. It's like this really silky white. It's really nice and I just put it all over my, my inner lid. And you just keep applying it until the, the inner lid is as white as you can get it because it's going to look really nice that way. Now I'm using a much, much darker brown. 
and I'm gonna go over what I did before but not all the way to the corners because we want those other we want the corners like really really smooth with the other color we used so this is just gonna create some darker shadows near the middle of what you just did and as you can see it's really opening up my eyes And yeah, basically I'm just going over the, the crease of my eye and creating that shadow, smoky, smoky look with the brown eyeshadow. And this is pretty much a technique, a makeup technique that you can use for, for all colors. Just to change out the colors with something equally light or equally dark. And now I'm using the same dark brown eyeshadow that I used before and I'm using it to go on my my lower lower corners of my eyes and this will make it look not so extreme that I have so much on the top of my lids because this will, will sort of even it out and now for the really hard part putting on this in the webcam But yeah, this is a liquid eyeliner and I know a lot of people like to use coal instead, but I really like the liquid eyeliner because I can use use it to create much finer and delicate shapes compared to, to like a pencil. And it's really really it's a lot bigger towards the edges of my eye and it goes really thin towards the inner corners and just keep applying until it looks sort of even and you like it it doesn't have to be perfectly even because we're gonna even it out with some eyeshadow So yeah, I'm going for the really black eyeshadow and I'm just going over what I just did with my thin brush. I honestly, it's my favorite brush, I just love it because it's so easy to use, it's so easy to control and I can make really delicate fine shapes with it. As you can see, I'm grabbing a hold of my fake lashes and the eyelash glue. And I'm just gonna smear it on all over the surface. And I have this tendency of adding too much glue. And since it's white, it takes a really long time to dry. So I'm gonna look a bit weird for a little while here. And you just shake it and let it dry, blow on it, and you just wait for 10 to 20 seconds. You just let the glue set a little bit because then it's going to stick much better to your eyelid. And you just place it as close as you can to your normal lashes. The further you get away, the more unnatural it will look for you to have those fake lashes on. But basically, I just place them where I think they should be when I have my eyes closed. Then before the glue is completely dried up, I uh, open my eye and check if it's in the right position.
blow on it if you like. If you want to look like a total idiot. I suspect nothing. Okay, once it's ready and dried up, you close your eye and you place it where you think it should be on your eyelid. And the glue isn't completely dried up the moment you place it, so you can still still move it around a bit and make sure it's in the right spot there. I seriously, I looked like I was hurting there, but I really wasn't. So this is my MAC blush and it's the one I actually use every single day for work and it's kind of purple but it is so natural and so nice and I can just keep adding without it looking weird or unnatural because it's so it's so nice. For really girly cosplays I would use a more more pink blush. But this one fits what I'm what I'm doing perfectly because it's just a, a regular cosplay makeup that you don't have to, to use for any specific characters. You can just use it for whatever and then of course this is better. And you just add it on the apples of your cheek and you're done with the blush. And here I have my lipstick. It's, uh, I found a color that's really nice for me, so you should probably go and ask your, uh, your local, your local beauty store and ask them what color suits you the best, because some people can carry a really red makeup while some people can't, and this is actually one I use for my Disney cosplays, even though it's not that mailbox red that they would have in real life because this suits me much better and the other one will look kind of weird on me. And I add mascara. And the easiest way to add mascara is just to uh, do the movement with your hand as I'm doing with mine and just blinking because then your lashes is gonna <laughs> do the work for you. And it's really going to show on this eye that I'm just basically holding the brush there in a minute. <laughs> just holding it there and just blinking, 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 blinking. And just continue until you see your own lashes stick naturally to the fake ones and it looks natural. And as you can see, the glue isn't completely dried up yet, but we can't really wait for that. So I'm just going to take the black eyeshadow that I used earlier, and I'm going to use my thin brush. And then I'm just going to... Oh, sorry. That wasn't what I was doing. Um, actually, I got the white one. I got the white highlighter. Um, and I'm just putting it on where... Um, I want my face to catch the light, and that's underneath my brow and on my cheekbones. And I'm also gonna link to um, to my uh, my blog post of I love my I love my Mac highlighter because what I'm doing now is I'm just using a regular white eyeshadow to do the highlights, and what I'm gonna show you right now is my Mac highlighter, which is kind of um, the consistency is a bit more gooey, and you just smear it on, and it really catches the light. You can see even now, it's like my skin is glittering. And underneath your brow also. And my face is really coming alive when I do this. Okay, so <laughs> that's what I was talking about before. I'm just getting a bit of the, the really black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna cover up the white glue because apparently it didn't turn completely see-through and I used too much I think so I just put on a bit more eyeshadow and then I should be fine so that was my my normal cosplay makeup